Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 2.3. We're given a profit, P, in thousands of dollars, made by selling X hundred media players, is given by this formula. Part A, we're asked to find and interpret P of zero. So to find P of zero, we replace X with zero in the formula. And so we find P of 0 to be negative 300. Now we need to interpret what that means in this situation. Well, X equals zeros, that corresponds to selling zero players. So this means we don't sell any players at all. The P of 0 be neg is being negative 300 tells us that the profit is negative three hundred thousand dollars. So as we talked about in class, profit is revenue minus cost. And the way we get the revenue is we take the number of things we sell times the price per item. So the revenue at zero is going to be zero which means the cost must be $300,000. So this means we have a startup cost or a fixed cost of $300,000. So that'll do it for part A. All right, in part B, we're asked to solve P of X equals zero and interpret that. So now instead of letting the X be zero, we're looking at where the P of X equals zero. So I set my formula for P of X, negative X squared plus 40X minus 300 equal to zero. It's a quadratic equation. I attempt to factor. To make things a little easier for me, I'll factor the negative one out. I'll be left with a positive X squared. And I'm going to switch all the signs then inside, like that. And then I factor. Factors of 30 that add to negative 40, excuse me, factors of 300 that add to negative 40, well, negative 10 and negative 30. And so I get x equals 10 and x equals 30. So once again, that's the find part. Uh, what's the interpret part? Well, x equals 10 corresponds to 10 hundred media players. That's a thousand players. X equals 30 corresponds to 30 hundred players or 3,000 players. That's what those X values mean. These are the X values that you plug in to get P of X equals zero. So these are the number of players to sell to earn, well, P of X equals zero, P is the profit, zero thousand dollars, so to earn zero dollars. So why the heck would those numbers be important? Well, we know that we have an initial fixed cost, startup cost, here of three hundred thousand dollars. In order to recoup that cost, it's saying we need to sell at least a thousand players to do so. So sometimes these are called the break-even points. All right. Geometrically what they mean is we have x-intercepts at x equals 10 and x equals 30. So that leads us nicely then into part C. All right, now we're asked to sketch the graph of y equals p of x. So I write the formula down. like so. I recognize this is a quadratic function, so the graph's going to be a parabola. Let's find the vertex. To find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we take minus b, so minus 40, over 2 times a, 2 times negative 1, that gives me a 20. 
To get the y value of the vertex, I plug in 20 for x. Then p of x, and I get negative 20 squared plus 40 times 20 minus 300. This gives me negative 400 plus 800. That gives me 400 again. Minus 300 is 100. So this won't be to scale at all. But I'll label it, here's 20, comma, 100. Now, for x-intercepts, we would set the y equal to 0, which means we'd be setting p of x equal to 0, which we already did. We found those values to be 10 and 30. To find the y-intercept, we would set x equal to 0. Well, that's what we did in number 1, and we got negative 30 out of that. So I put all this together, and I sketch my graph. I should probably move this over a little bit little bit off center there. Should be right between those two. There we go. And so I've got a parabola opening downward. Like so. Alright. So this is the curve y equals p of x. And we can see that when you start off we need to sell at least 10 hundred or 1,000 players to start making a, tr a profit but then we better not sell more than 30 hundred or 3,000 players or else we'll start to not have a profit. We'll have a negative profit. And as we mentioned in class, the reason why this could happen is because in order to sell more and more players, you need to drop the price. Dropping the price decreases the revenue, and if the costs are still increasing, the cost overtakes the revenue and we get the negative profit again. Alright, so looking back at part B, really these numbers, 10 and 30, these are the range, this is the range of numbers, excuse me, this is the range of systems we want to sell in order to actually make a profit. Now, of course, from a business point of view, we want to know what's the maximum profit and how many players need to be sold to maximize the profit. Well, the maximum is going to happen right there at the vertex. The vertex we found to be at 20, 100, and it was a maximum. So to maximize profit, we need to sell x equals 20, corresponding to 20, 100, or 2,000 uh, players. And what's the maximum profit going to be? Well, that's going to be the y value. That's one hundred thousand dollars. So that'll do it for number one.